Shalom. This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. I want to start off by saying thank you to all of our Booster Club members for your many donations and much more your prayers. We visited faraway countries and strange lands. We've even spoken to dignitaries and were detained for spreading the glorious gospel in Cuba. The truth is that the descendants of the 12 tribes of Israel were scattered throughout the world. Help us on our journey as we continue to raise up the nation of Israel. 12 tribes worldwide. Join or donate today. Shalom. We come out here to teach you your true identity according to God. We come out here to give you solutions to why Breonna Taylor has happened, to why George Floyd has happened, to why Laquan McDonald has happened. It right. continue to happen again and again with our people. Right. But you know the problem with our people? We don't want to hear nothing. Romans 10. We don't want to hear nothing. Everybody want to party. Everybody want to do what they want to do. Everybody want to believe in what they want to believe in. But meanwhile, we constantly getting shot down in the streets. We constantly being killed by the same people that brought us over here on slave ships. And y'all don't seem to get it. So if black lives really matter, stop killing each other. If black lives really matter, keep the commandments of God. Read the Bible. Verse 2. The book of Romans, chapter 10 and verse 2. Verse 1. Verse 1. Brethren. My heart's desire and prayer to God for Israel is that they might be saved. No, for everybody in the world, in the whole wide world, that they could be saved. Contrary to popular belief, we don't give a damn what your Christian pastor talking about. The Bible say that salvation, Israel gonna be saved. So if you're walking around as a black, as an African American, as a Mexican, as a Puerto Rican, salvation is not for you because this whole entire Bible is only for the 12 tribes of the nation of Israel. Yes, right. Read it again. Brethren, my heart's desire and prayer to God for Israel. For who? For Israel. Not a Chinese. For Israel. Not a white man. For Israel. For Israel. Yes, right. It's 2020. We can read now. That is possessive. That is one nation of people. Read. Is that they might be saved. That they might be saved. Hey, my brother, brother, my sister, do you see yourself on this sign? Do you know that you're a child of God? Read on. For I bear them record that they have a zeal of God. So the Bible says that our people have a zeal for God. Meaning, when you, when you examine our people, who feels the Christian church? Who feels the Muslim mosque? We do. So our people, in our spirit, in our souls, we have a burning desire to serve God because, because we actually are his people. Don't nobody feel the church more than black people. So the scriptures say that we have a zeal for God, read. But not according to knowledge. But our zeal of God is not according to knowledge. What's knowledge? Give me knowledge. Is knowledge comedic science? Is, my, is knowledge Islam? Is knowledge your two master degrees? Is knowledge your PhD? That's not the knowledge of God. That's not the knowledge that God is talking about. Because look, our people, we have a lot of buying power. We have a lot of spending power. A lot of us are well educated. A lot of us do have master degrees and higher level degrees. Okay, so that's not the knowledge that God say we lack. I'm going to show you today what we actually lack within our communities. Read. The book of Malachi, chapter 2 and verse 7. For the priest's lips should keep knowledge. So the scriptures say the priest's lips, your pastor who's robbing you, who's taking your money every Sunday, the Bible say his lips should keep knowledge. What's this knowledge? Read. And they should seek the law at his mouth. What should the pastor be teaching you? They should seek 
the law at his mouth. And these Christian pastors, these uh, so-called evangelists should be teaching you God's laws to get you out of your captivity. Still hold Romans, give me Lamentations 2 and 14. I'm going to show you why you learning God's laws is so important. Because when you go to the Christian church, what do you do? You go there looking for answers. You go there looking for solutions. Our people have been filling this Christian church for over 400 years since we came over here on slave ships. Bring it out. What has changed in our communities? Why do we constantly get shot down in the street? Why are we still in the ghetto? Why are we still first high at last fire? Why are we still yeah. on Section 8, Ooh. welfare? Yeah. How can they shoot me down in the street and then be pled not guilty? Read. The book of Lamentations, chapter 2 and verse 14. Read this out. is why your pastor should be teaching you God's laws. Read. Thy prophets have seen vain and foolish things for thee. Your prophets, your Christian pastors have seen vain and foolish things for you. Your politicians have prophesied vain deceits unto you, selling you a dream. Got you trusting in a crooked political system that was never set up for you. They prophesy lies and deceits for you. Got you voting for the same man that had you in shackles and chains. Read. And they have not discovered thine iniquity to turn away the captivity. They have not discovered what? They have not discovered thine iniquity. So these pastors have not told you your sin. They have not discovered your iniquity to do what? To turn away what? To turn away thy captivity. That's why it's important for the priest's lips to keep knowledge. Because when he teaches you God's laws, he discovers your iniquity, which will get you out of this condition. Which will get you back to your homeland. Which will cause the cease of black on black crime. Single parent households. Drug addiction, gang banger, all that will cease once your pastor actually start teaching you God's laws. But you know what they say? They say, no. Nah. The laws is done away with. Still give me your money on them tithes, though. When tithes was never money, according to the scriptures. Go back to Romans. Verse 2, chapter 10 and verse 2. Once again, you so-called blacks and Hispanics, you are the children of Israel, according to the Bible. You ain't never been black. You are not African-American. You ain't Muslim worshiping a rock. That is not your God, black man. That was given to you in the sub-Saharan slave trade. You are an Israelite according to the Bible. Yes. And it's time for you to repent and come out of that idolatry. We ain't no Muslims. Read. The book of Romans chapter 10 and verse 2. For I bear them record that they have a zeal of God, but not according to knowledge. For what? But not according to knowledge. Like this brother right here, that's a Muslim, passing out poison to our people. Spreading more lies to our people. The scriptures say we got a zeal for knowledge because guess what? Believe it or not, that brother got a zeal to serve God, but he's doing it under the false deity, the false God of Islam, That's right. which is another slave religion. Jesus. So we have a zeal for God, as you see, but it ain't according to the Most High God. That's right. Read. For they, being ignorant of God's righteousness. Our people are what? Ignorant of God's righteousness. The Bible says our people are ignorant, unknowing of God's righteousness, God's commandments. Our people don't know commandment one. We can't even keep thou shalt not kill, but wonder why we can't prosper as a people. So the scriptures say our people what? Are ignorant of God's righteousness. So don't can't nobody come up here talking about nothing about this Bible if you ain't keeping God's commandments. The scriptures say you are ignorant of God's righteousness and it's evident. Look at our, look at our conditions. Read. And going about to establish their own righteousness. What do our people do? Going about to establish their own righteousness. Because we prideful. We go about to establish our own righteousness. The, my Sabbath is on Sunday. I ain't got to, I, I can eat pork. God ain't don't judge me from what I wear. I can take ecstasy. I can sell drugs. You go about to establish your own righteousness. But that's not, thus say the Lord. Read have not submitted them themselves unto the righteousness of God. And that's our people's problem because we prideful. The scriptures say we have not submitted ourselves unto the righteousness of God. So once you as a nation of people, my brother, once you decide to repent, drop all that pride that's on you, and come back to what these scriptures say, then we as a nation will begin to prosper. Isaiah chapter 30 verse 1. Now what is this going on? Is this a solution for our people? 
We in the midst of Breonna Taylor, George Floyd, all of this oppression and our people out here partying. Our people out here reveling. Our people out here shucking and jiving, playing a game. You understand? Okay. Read the Bible. The book of Isaiah chapter 30 and verse 1. Woe to the rebellious children, saith the Lord. The Bible says woe, meaning destruction to the rebellious children. All of you black folks out here that do not want to submit yourselves to the righteousness of God, destruction is coming to America. Y'all better wake up. We sitting on in the last days. Nuclear bombs are about to hit this place. And the black man out here smoking weed. Riding around getting high. Listening to damn WAP. It ain't no game out here. Christ is coming and you better get in line with what these scriptures say. That's right. The scriptures say destruction to all you rebellious black folks. All of you rebellious Israelites that don't give a damn about what God talking about. All you care about is doing what the hell you want to do. Fulfilling your lust. Read it again from the top. Woe to the rebellious children, saith the Lord, that take counsel, but not of me. Our people take counsel, but not of God. We take counsel high in politicians, in the political system, in comedic science, in the Moorish doctrine, in Islam, in the Christian church. We're in every philosophy under the face of the sun. But we ain't prospering. So it's obvious that we, it's something that we're not doing right. The scriptures say we take counsel, but it's not by the one true God. It's not the real counsel. It's not the real power. Read. And take, and that take cover with a covering, but not of my spirit. So we try to take a covering, but it's not of God's spirit. Islam is another spirit. The Christian church is another spirit. This reveling that you see going on is another spirit. A seducing spirit because it's not leading you in the righteousness of God. It's keeping you confused. Y'all over there wearing black and yellow shirts and y'all are not, are not African. You don't even know your true nationality and we come out here to teach it to you freely, joyfully, and you mock. You don't want to hear nothing. Teach. Read it again. And they cover with a covering but not of my spirit, that they may add sin to sin. Nehemiah 13. Our people do what? They add sin to sin. We went into slavery, why? For breaking God's commandments. And we stand in this condition because we are continuing to add sin unto sin. This right here, what y'all got going on across the street is sin. Why? Because it's the Sabbath day. Y'all over there cooking. Y'all over there reveling. Revelers will not get the kingdom. Plain and simple. Read the Bible. Nehemiah 13 and 15. So what we're going to do is we're going to identify the sins that we see going on with this reveling that we see going on across the street. And I'm going to call it how it is. That ain't no unity. That ain't no building. You understand? The scriptures say it's one faith, one baptism of our calling. We ain't out here honoring the most high God and his son, Jesus the Christ. We ain't out here to keep God's commandments, to teach our nationality according to the Bible, to gain salvation. We over there partying. Drill team, whatever going on. Read. The book of Nehemiah chapter 13 and verse 15. In those days saw I in Judah, some treading wine presses on the Sabbath. So it was in Judah. Guess what we have today in Judah? On Madison and Pulaski on the west side. Judah are you so-called African-American men. In the Bible, you are the tribe of Judah from the nation of Israel. Solomon was from your tribe. Christ was from your tribe. King David was from your tribe. So we in Judah today, and what's going on? Working on the Sabbath, evil things being done on God's Sabbath day. Read. And bringing in sheaves and laying asses, as also wine, grapes, and figs, and all manner of burdens which they brought into Jerusalem on the Sabbath day. And all manner of burdens, burdens. Now let's point out some of these burdens or evil things being done in Judah today on God's Sabbath day. Read. And I testified against them. What happened? I testified against them. So what you think we doing? 
Christ said, come to the highways and hedges and compel them to come in. And that's exactly what we are here doing. It's to teach you your nationality and compel you to come back to this gospel. Come back to the law, statutes, and commandments. Because what y'all are doing over there is adding sin to sin, covering yourselves with a covering that's not of the Most High God. Read. And I testified against them in the day wherein they sold fiddles. Uh -huh. They did what? They sold. They what? They sold. They what? They sold. They what? They sold. It's not selling going on across the street. Bring it Teach. Out. But the Sabbath day is no buying or selling. Bring it out. But then when George Floyd happened, Breonna Taylor happened, oh God, oh God, God, why? Right. Because we are in the midst of sin. Repent out. and keep God's commandments. Right. Right. Submit yourselves to the righteousness of God and stop going about trying to establish your own righteousness the scripture's talking about. Read. There dwelt men of Tyre also therein, which brought fish and all manner of ware, and sold on the Sabbath unto the children of Judah. So do we not see the selling going on in Judah today on the Sabbath day? Look at it. Selling going on, cooking going on, reveling going on. God said, turn the noise of your vows away from me. I don't want to hear that. Because at the end of the day, this is not no solution for our people. Once y'all go home, it's going to be another George Floyd. It's going to be another Breonna Taylor. Bring it out. This is not no solution. Wake up, children of Israel. Keep God's commandments. Come back to the scriptures. We like little children out there singing, dancing, playing around. Bring it out. That ain't no solution. We're the real man that's looking for God. Where's the real man that won't change in his community? Bring it out, huh? We little damn kids out here having a festival. And I'm going to call it how it is. And it's the young man that got to come out here and teach you old man. We looking for the man that's looking to rule the world. That's what we want. We don't want equal rights. We want to rule the earth. We. And sold on the Sabbath unto the children of Judah and in Jerusalem. So it was selling going on. Read. Then I contended with the nobles of Judah and said unto them, what evil thing is this that ye do to profane the Sabbath day? So we got cooking going on, profaning the Sabbath day. The scriptures say that is an evil thing. And you wonder why you get shot down in the street. You wonder why you can't get no justice. Because you're going against the words of the Most High God. Psalms 147 verse 19 and 20. It is time for you so-called black men to drop all of these doctrines. Come out of all these philosophies. We got the truth. You think we out here because we ain't got nothing better to do? You think we don't know what these scriptures say? You think we didn't do our research? We can prove to you everything that's coming out of this Bible. We can prove to you who you are. And then we got the solutions to your problems out of the Bible. But you want to turn the cheek. You want to turn the shoulder. You don't want to hear nothing. So you're going to continue to die by the hand of your oppressor. You're going to continue to get shot down in the street by the hand of your oppressor until you learn how to submit yourself to this word. That's right. Read. The book of Psalms, chapter 147 and 19. He showed his word unto Jacob. So the scriptures say he showed his word unto Jacob, meaning the Most High God gave you his laws. He gave you his commandments to make you a special people. But you dishonor his commandments. You dishonor your heritage. He showed this word unto Jacob, not the Chinese, not the Africans, okay? Not the Arabs, not the East Indians. Read. His statutes and his judgments of His statutes, his commandments, his laws. Thou shalt not kill. You cannot eat pork. Thou shalt not steal. He showed his statutes and his judgments. His statutes and his judgments unto Israel. So he showed his laws and the penalties for breaking his laws unto Israel. One nation of people. That's why we went into slavery. That's why we get shot down in the street. We used to scream black power while Haram was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision the tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark.
Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.